Hey everybody, today I want to share with you my new favorite browser extension. This is called Single File. And Single File runs on Chrome, Firefox, Safari, I think it runs on just about anything. And because most browsers are based off of Chrome anyways, so it'll probably work in your browser. So this is really cool because I tend to support things that work locally and don't rely on the cloud to accomplish something. When I install this extension, I was not required to sign into an account where it's you know got a bunch of telemetry and it's tracking me. This is freedom and it's a great extension because you can do whatever you want to an annotate over a website. So could you do that with a PDF? Yes, but this just works right here in the browser and it's so simple. Here's the GitHub page for single file. It's under Gildas Lermu. I think I'm, I'm pronouncing it hopefully correctly. And you can see it's updated fairly frequently. There's little uh, GitHub pull requests five days ago, 10 hours ago. I mean, this is a, an active project. And that says a lot. This is an incredible extension. I, I am surprised I have not used this sooner because this is right up my alley. So anyways, if you're at a website and you want to save it, maybe you fear that the website's going to get pulled down or you know your internet's going to go out forever. I don't know, but whatever. If you want to write notes on it and save it as a local file, maybe on a thumb drive for somebody that's going to open something on a thumb drive and read the documentation, this is it. This is really cool. So you can see the extension running up here. And I could click that and it will just save a snapshot of the page as an HTML file, which will work on about any computer in the last 30 years, you know, for the most part. <laughs> but the cool thing is you can right click here and go to single file and you can go to annotate and save the page. So let's try that out. I'm going to do that right now. You can see down here the little status of how it's kind of saving the page. And now we're in a local version of the page. This is not the website anymore. This is a local version of it that I can take and highlight text. I can do so many things. So let's grab that text color, highlight this, highlight this. Maybe I'll go here and just start highlighting this. This is so cool. And then, you know, once I put all the notes here, I can even do sticky notes. I can click here. This is the product. You know, just a note for somebody that I want to send this to. I can send HTML files via email and they can open it up and see all my notes. Let's do uh, a green note. Okay, there's note too. So pretend you're all done doing this and you just want to save the page now. There's a little down arrow right here click that now it saves it as a local file and that single file if you will has the date in there and it's a small file size under one megabyte so I click the page it loads it you can do whatever you want with this file you can send it to somebody it's not locked down to any kind of technology you don't have to open an account when, when you're receiving this type of file you can just open it and it works so it's kind of cool because you can drag these around even after the fact, but the way you saved it is the way it really remains because if I refresh the page, you can see they go back. And you can see all my highlights are there. I love this. This is so powerful, and I hope you love it too and you try it out. Thanks a lot for watching.